Hey everybody, welcome back to 3COG. Today we're going to talk about this uh, IFAC here from Live the Creed. Um, I found out about a deal on this. Uh, thank you to my buddy Sean who told me about that. I appreciate you brother. Um, and so I got this guy for $160. I don't know what their normal price is, but uh, I'm very happy with it at the price point that I paid, which they were severely uh, discounted at the time. So shameless plug for my Facebook page, uh, Three Cog on Facebook. If you're not on there, I post deals whenever I find them, and uh, either affiliate links where I make you know fifty cents off your purchase, or just I find a really good deal and I just share it because I think this is the kind of stuff people should have. So uh, let's get into it. Like I said, this is from Live the Creed. So it's a nice little uh, flat pack type IFAC. Uh, it comes with the uh, Malice type strips. Oh, these are Maxpedition strips. Uh, it comes with these. comes pretty much just like you see it, except the tourniquet was still wrapped in plastic, which I removed. Um, but this is what you get. It's pretty nice. It's marked. Uh, this is going to wind up living on the bottom of my Halo Strategic uh, Micro, uh, which is my 9mm subgun rig. So that's where this is going to wind up. Um, it is nice and flat, the point of this being that if you are uh, working in and out of vehicles a lot, you can have this on the back of your gun belt and not be fighting it uh, in your car seats. So, um, so it's marked. Uh, obviously, this is just a patch, so you can remove it if you want to, whatever. Uh, cat type tourniquet, good tourniquet, good to see. Here's what's cool. So on this guy, you open up the buckle, and when you do that, now you can pull the contents from either side out and have everything in your hand. So I'm going to carefully unpack this and then try to repack it, obviously, for use. So it's got trauma shears in it, which is actually really cool. That's not necessarily a common thing for uh, IFAX to have. Normally you wind up plussing up and adding shears. And these are little short ones, but that's actually really cool. Uh, North American Rescue Mini Responder 4 inch. So it's uh, battle dressing. Yep, standard battle dressing type. Awesome. I'm looking for an expiration date. Uh, so this just says sterility guaranteed unless opened. Interesting. Alright, so bandage. Gloves, because you, you never know, especially if you're using this more of a first aid situation and it's not, you know, a buddy or teammate. Uh, you never know what people have in their blood. This should be combat gauze. Yep, quick clock combat gauze. This stuff is amazing. Um, so people are used to uh, uh, quick clot. They think about the granulated stuff that's poured on wounds um, that you see in war movies and stuff. So this is a Z-folded bandage, so it's folded up so it's easy to uh, stuff into a wound, and it's impregnated with quick clot. So you're accomplishing two things with this product. You're putting uh, pressure inside that wound and treating it with, uh, with quick clot at the same time. Um, so that's really cool. Uh, this stuff, I carry, uh, I carry a pack of this on me every day. Um, yeah, this is good stuff. Uh, some of you remember... If you went through like TCCC and different training, um, some of you will remember when you had to take the roll of it and you had to throw it over your shoulder so that you could feed and stuff the wound. Um, the Z-folded stuff, you don't have to do that. You can just take it and just stuff it as it goes and it'll just open up and accordion like as you stuff the wound. So quality item. And... Oh yeah, nasal pharyngeal airway, MPA, um, number, yep, 28 French. Um, so these are very unpleasant to put in yourself. I've done it a bunch of times, part of a lot of training I went through. I've done it to buddies, I've done it to myself. I'll tell you that don't use the lube. So if you're putting it in yourself, just use a whole bunch of your own slobber. Uh, just spit to lubricate it. Otherwise, you're blowing surgilube out of your 
out of your sinuses for what feels like a week afterwards. So, uh, yeah, just a lot of spit on this and it'll slide right in there. Um, good, good piece of kit. I believe this kit was also upgradable with a needle for treating uh, tension pneumothorax. Um, all right, and then got two hyphen chest seals. So chest seals, um, occlusive, uh, air, uh, occlusive dressing that only allows air to move one way. So it is part of the step of treating for uh, collapsed lung or tension pneumothorax. Um, basically any bullet hole that somebody has or puncture wound doesn't even have to be a bullet hole that's above the belly button um, is getting one of these slapped over it. So, so that's what you get. Now it doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like a lot for $160, but good medical gear is not cheap. And this is all quality stuff. It's North American Rescue, uh, Quick Clot, the hyphen vent, uh, chest seals, cat tourniquet. The carrier is really nicely made. I like the material. I like the way it deploys. This is a pretty good quality piece of kit. Um, if you carry a gun for a living, you should carry some of this stuff additionally. And in your car, you should have more of this stuff. Like I said, this rig is going to hang out underneath my uh, my Haley Strategic subgun rig. Um, and this will be uh, with me or nearby most of the time. So, uh, quality product. Good job to live the creed. Um, this is a good setup. So, if, uh, if you're interested in items like this or getting deals on items in general, make sure you check out 3COG on Facebook. Like I said, I post stuff there. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time on 3COG.